If you know anything about the anime or have read the mangas, you know this movie will be silly. And it is. It's great. If you're feeling sad, this will help put you in a good mood. First, I don't know what you think this movie will be about, but throw that idea out the window. There really isn't any plot, and I'm sure you can guess this movie will be silly, funny, and maybe all over the place, because it is. The movie is the main characters going to the Crimson Demon Village and protecting it, and once the day is saved, they go back home. This is a movie, if you really love this anime, then you can go watch it. If you're like, okay about the anime, or like, you know, you just watch it to watch it, then the Konosuba movie, yeah, this is something to watch if you have nothing else to watch, or you're feeling down and sad because it's just super funny and weird and silly. The movie opens with the group failing a quest. Yunyun comes visit and says she wants to have sex with Kazuma. The other characters are annoyed by this, which we all know, like you have one guy with three girls, of course they're all going to have a crush on him, we already knew that from the anime, so of course this scene, everyone's reaction isn't surprising. Yunyun says that the college will be wiped out and she needs their help. The Devil King needs to be put down by Kazuma and the prophecy is read about how everything will happen and how the day needs to be saved. The group goes to the Crimson Demons village to help solve the problem of the demons. The group runs into trouble and Union saves them. Megumin does her explosion magic on monsters who attack them. It doesn't work of course and a group of villagers come and save them. Everything now seems fine, but later the Crimson Demon Village is attacked and the villagers defend themselves with no outside help. This village has strong wizards that we are learning about. This movie shows us where Megumin grew up because this is her village and we even meet her family. At this point in the movie, it feels like another anime season and not a film. I mean, in between scenes, they have the Kunosova background, so it's weird that this is called a movie when it probably should be a TV series. Megumin told her family Kazuma is a dear friend of hers, and the family drills him as if they were dating. Her mother even tries to set them up, which is super funny. The next day, Darkness is off fighting enemies and a group of villagers come to help her because we all know Darkness isn't a good fighter, we already know that. She's just weird and likes to be defeated and tortured. Kazuma tells the enemies that him and his team destroyed a few other demon generals, showing they are powerful and just trying to act tougher than what they are, and the enemies believe it and they retreat. The devil army attacks again on the second night, so they come back again, and we learn that the general of this group is a woman named Sylvia. And Sylvia takes advantage of her being a woman and Kazuma being a male to seduce him and kidnaps him. Kazuma is able to trap Sylvia in a dark room underground, but she breaks free. Sylvia attacks the village because she is the mage killer. We learn the backstory of the Crimson Demons and how Megumin and her village came about and after learning all this, I don't know what to think. I don't know if it's funny and I should laugh or it's just so sad and I should cry. Like I really don't know which feeling to feel. It does fit in with the whole Kunisoba storyline basically with this whole entire backstory. It's just so extra. Yunyun fights Sylvia with the help of our main characters. Megumin's little sister ends up killing Sylvia and gets all the glory. But wait, plot twist! Sylvia isn't actually dead. Wiz and Yanner know Sylvia and they all fight because of an old grudge that they have against each other. The villagers help take down Sylvia and everything is at peace again. So now we have the good guys just defeated the bad guy. The main characters go back home and are praised for their work. 
Megumin wants to learn advanced magic and asks Kazuma to let her learn magic, which means that she is no longer going to have explosion magic. Which, this last scene in the movie is just a really sweet and it's just so adorable. I mean, this movie, I would rate it as if you're bored and have nothing to do, watch it. I wouldn't really, like, go out of your way to watch it unless you have a bad day or are feeling sad. Then you can go watch this movie. But I wouldn't really go out of my way to watch it. But that's just me. I did enjoy the movie, though. It really did make me happy, and I liked it.